of righteous woman, you're dealing with a thot. And I don't see how in the hell you're going to try to wife up a woman who all the brothers done been with. There's no honor in that. You want to walk around with a woman who's pure. A woman that when you walk with her, you know no man dealt with this woman. No man. That's why they constantly tell you when you buy products, do not use if open. If a woman is already open, you're not even supposed to be using her. Technically, you're not even supposed to be dealing with her. You can't make her no wife. You cannot make a woman who's been used and abused by multiple men your wife. If a woman has a sexual history, but for whatever reason she repented of that mess, she changed her life, she corrected her ways, then you can only make that woman a concubine. And this is why when I meet women, you know, I tell them straight up, man. I'm like, look, these are the cards. This is what it is. And it is what it is, man. Like, you know, there's no way around it. Like, you want to fuck with me, you want to be with me, you want me to be, a, be your man, you're going to be my concubine. It's just that simple. You got kids, you got a baby father, you got all this bullshit. I don't want none of that shit. There's no way I'm going to make you a fucking wife and you got all that fucking baggage. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But now, if you want to respect me, you want me to be in your life, you want me to guide you, you need a companion, you want a man you can talk to, a man that's going to hold you, a man that's going to caress you, a man that's going to fuck you, a man that's going to tell you what's right from wrong, he's going to school you on shit, he's going to discipline you, he's going to be there for you. You know, if you want a man that's going to do all of that shit, and yet you gain all the benefits from this man, but you want this man to make you a wife, when you don't even qualify for that shit, you're bugging. Like I said in countless videos, you ought to be glad that a Negro even want you. Because to tell you the truth, a lot of you sisters are not even worthy. Some of you sisters are not even worthy to fuck. And that's real. A lot of brothers, they're not strong enough to do that. But, you know, a lot of sisters, I done turned down. You know, I had opportunities to smash many different women, and I turned them down. Because it's not even worth it, to tell you the truth. A lot of the shit is not, it's not even worth going through. So you have to understand that when it comes to dealing with women, you have to, you have to know the difference between making a woman a wife from making a woman a concubine. It's very, very important. Women be getting mad with me because I say stuff like, well, if you're not a virgin, you don't qualify to be a wife. They get upset. Who are you to tell me this? Uh-uh, a man gotta do this for me and I, uh, I need to be a wife and I, no, 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 you got it all fucked up, woman. You got it all fucked up. You see, you want to go out there, live your life as a hoe, in your teen years, in your twenty years, in your twenties, you want to be a thot, and you want to suck dick and get bust up and fucked everywhere, go to fucking freak nick and all of that shit. You want to be a hoe in college, right? You want to do all this shit, damage your body, right? And now, when you push in 30, 40, you got this righteous brother over here. Now all of a sudden, now you want him to clean up the mess. You want him to clean up the pieces and 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 make you and save you. That's what you want, right? No, that's not happening. You should have saved yourself from when you were a teenager. When you got in your 20s, you should have never gotten into your whole phase like every other woman. And then maybe you might find a decent man who's gonna wife you. Because the reason why a lot of these brothers are not making you wives is because they know you hoes. At the end of the day, it's real. A lot of brothers, even wicked brothers, even a wicked brother know the difference between a woman who is pure from a woman who's a thot. They know the difference. And no man is going to deal with that type of woman as a wife. He will deal with you on probably a jump off level. And see, there's a difference. <clears throat> and I need to talk about that. You got side chicks. You got jump offs. You got your throwback, throwback woman. You, you got all different types of women and, and titles. To be a concubine, you're more than a jump off. You're more than a side chick. Because... If you are if you're a man's concubine, that means you as a woman are strictly faithful to him and, and him only. And see, if you want to be the concubine of a man who is righteous, but yet you still want to go out there and sleep around with your baby father, see, this is why you should never be a wife. Because a lot of times, and most of the times, I teach brothers not to deal with women who have children as a wife because these women deal with their baby fathers on the low. The majority of black women, and women in general, because they have children by other men, sometimes they still have feelings for these men. And even though they may hate these men's guts, even though they may not ever want to be with them ever again, 
it's convenient to have sex with them. It's convenient to give this guy a blowjob and get some extra money. It's convenient to have that little sneaky sex time where he can break her off real fast, even though they don't like each other. Once it comes to sex, sex is something totally different. A man and a woman may not even like each other. They may not even want to be around each other. But when it's time to fuck, they agree on that. You understand what I'm saying? The man will eat a pussy even though he don't like the woman. Even though he don't like her, he'll still put his dick in her to bust a nut. And see, this is why as a man, when you're dealing with women who have baby fathers and children, this is something you're going to be dealing with. Do you want to deal with that shit if she's your wife? Do you want your wife to constantly have to be meeting up with some dude because he got two or three kids by her? Do you want that Negro in your life? Dealing with the bullshit? No. So if you get this woman and you make her your concubine, she's not your wife. So technically, you know, she, 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 you know, got her own life going. You meet up with her when you want to meet up with her or whenever it's convenient for you to. But at the end of the day, you don't got to deal with the bullshit of, yo, my wife is interacting with this man and uh-uh, no, I don't got to deal with none of that shit. And if the concubines start acting up, I can cut her ass loose and send her on her way. See, a wife is a whole different ballgame. A wife you honor even more. Because a wife, she's a pure woman. So if a woman is a virgin and you take her as your wife, that's a whole different ballgame. You treat her with the utmost respect. But a woman who is a concubine, who is dealing with her baby father still, who may have wandering eyes, who may not be fully faithful to you, you can't take a woman like that serious. This is why you gotta prove women. This is why I tell you brothers, stop putting your dick in these women and learn how to prove them. Get some knowledge about them. I understand you wanna fuck. I understand you wanna smash this system. Of course, it's in your nature as a man to do that. But at the same time, get to know where this system mind is. Is she true to you? Do she really want to ride with you? You know? Or is she just wanting to use you? You see? Know about her history. Know about how many baby fathers she has. Know about how many children she really has. Because a lot of these women lie. They'll tell you I got one child, but they got three. They got two of them living with her grandmother. Oh, but you don't know about them. But she'll fuck up your mind making you think, oh, I only got one child to make you, you deal with her. But she got three. You know? I, I, listen. I know women like that, man. That one minute they said they got one child, the next minute they, I noticed they had two. Then I searched Facebook, they got three. And I'm like, what the fuck? How many kids you got? Mm. You know? Come to find out that woman had five kids. Five of them jokers, man, five. And yet, this very same woman that had five kids was expecting me to try to settle down with her to make her a wife. Fuck out of here. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that. You got five kids by three different dudes, and you expecting a man to settle down with you and make you a wife? You are out of your fucking mind. And see, a lot of you brothers, because you're simps, you do this kind of shit. I know brothers that took women in who had four kids, man. Four kids. And he took her in and married this woman. After this woman been a hoe her whole damn life, had a pile of kids and baby daddies and sucking dick and all types of shit, now you want to take this woman as a wife? Where the fuck is your honor, brother? Where is your morals and values, man? How the hell could you, how could you do some shit like that, yo? Listen, man, the only woman who qualifies as a wife is a pure virgin, man, whose pussy is sweet, whose pussy is tight. That is the woman you make a wife. A woman who's been around the block who is loose, that is not the kind of woman you can make a wife. You can only make her a concubine. Only. But you gotta be faithful to you. Don't even listen, brothers. Let me, let me say something else. Because a lot of you brothers, you'll take things that I say and you run with it and you go out there and you're doing some bullshit. When I say make a woman your concubine, I am not saying to make this woman a fuck buddy. That's not what I'm saying. I need to make that clear. A concubine is not your fuck buddy. A concubine is like a wife, but she's not a wife. The wife get more honor, more respect. She get treated totally different. Honor is honor. A concubine is not your uh, side chick. She's a woman in whom you are in a 
relationship with. You are her man. She's supposed to be faithful to you and you only. She can cook for you. She can clean for you. You can spend some time at her house. Or, if you got it like that, she could be even living with you. The point that I'm trying to make here is that a concubine should be treated with respect. But she has to be one that respects herself as well. See, a lot of women, they will say, okay, I'll be your concubine. But the very same woman is sleeping around on the low behind your back. That's not a concubine, that's a thought. No, See, each I woman is supposed to know her role. If you're a woman and you want to deal with a brother, but you want to be a hoe still, you need to let that brother know. It's on all levels. Real talk. If you're a sister, yes, and let's say, all, let's say I'm trying to holler at you, right? I want to fuck with you. But for whatever reason, you know you're not the faithful kind of woman, right? You need to just let me know. I would respect you more if you just let me know. Be like, yo, look, I'm really feeling you, brother. You know what I'm saying? You cool. You know, I want to fuck with you and whatnot, but I don't know about all of this commitment shit. I'm really not like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make no promises. You know, I'm just going to keep it real. But uh, right now, I don't got nobody. I'm just keeping it a buck with you, but even if I get with you, you know, I mean, there may be a situation, I may see a guy, run into a guy, and I may end up liking him and whatnot. See, a woman like that, if she's talking to you straight like that, mm -hmm. then for whatever reason, you know, you can make your choice right there. You can make your choice to either get with her under those conditions, which I wouldn't, or, you know, you could just move on and go your way. You know, some of you brothers may want to just smash and run, but for the most part, if she if she made it clear that she don't think she can be faithful to you, then that is an indication that even if you made her a concubine, she's gonna be out there sleeping with other dudes. And that's something you don't want to mix mingle with. Because remember, if you're a brother and you're practicing polygamy, right? You have to have respect for your women. Which means if you're dealing with a woman, she has to be totally faithful to you, right? And if you know she's dealing with another dude, that can cause some problems in your relationship because you're fucking her. And most likely you're raw dogging her. So you don't want to be raw dogging a woman. You know, you all in that sweet pussy. And next minute, you get some STD mm. because she's fucking with a Negro who's sleeping around with a pile of different women who are nasty hoes. And now you bring that shit home to your wife's. You know, you don't want that type of shit. And this is why in polygyny, you have to think smarter. You cannot think with your dick. You gotta think logically, you gotta be respectful, and you have to have you have to have great hygiene, great personal hygiene. And any woman you get with, they have to be about their hygiene. This is why if I meet a woman, I always talk about personal hygiene. This is something I love to talk about with women. I love to talk about them, uh, you know, in terms of how well you take care of your pussy. Do you clean your ass? You know, do you do you wash your body? Do you take care of your feet? Do you do this? Do you brush your teeth? How often do you do this? How well do you clean yourself? Do you take these things serious? Do you wear underwear? Why? You know, all of these different things I do because I want to know how clean that woman is. So as a man, when you're dealing with women, you have to be about your hygiene and you have to teach women personal hygiene in order to have a successful relationship with either a concubine or a wife. You understand? So I just thought I'd put this video together to put this out there, I might put this video on my uh, Black Male Advice TV channel as well, because this video definitely is a an educational video. All polygyny videos will be on Black Male Advice TV, as well as Black Female Advice TV. I was going to make a channel that's strictly about polygyny, but I really just wanted to throw everything into one place so that... Uh, everyone can find my material. I don't, I'm tired of starting all these different YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. It's just too much, too much work involved with YouTube when mm -hmm. you have to re-upload videos and do all this shit. It's just a lot of work. Um, so yeah, brothers. Um, when it comes to dealing with women, as well as you sisters that are listening to the video, um, the only way you can qualify to be a wife is you must be a virgin. That, it's just as simple as that. So if you're a sister and you're listening to this video and you're not a virgin, right? You are in no position to argue with a man about, oh, I want you to be uh, faithful to me and me only under monogamy. Men are not built or designed to follow monogamy. Monogamy is a white man, European custom. Men of truth, 
biblical Israelites, so-called brothers, are not designed or programmed or wired to be with one woman. I'm not wired to be with no one woman. You understand? I'm not. This is why when I meet women, I tell them, and I, and I talk about all of these things straight up. No time to play games. I let my cards be known. It is what it is. And, and sometimes I don't just come out flat and just let women know all, you know, what I do. But sometimes it's like I put shit right in their face. And I'm like, well, you know, if you're a woman and you're, you, you know, you're checking me out, you should be reading the shit that I, that I write. You should be reading the shit that I post. Um, you know, you should investigate some shit so you can know where I'm at. Even in the real world, you know, I be meeting sisters sometimes and I'll be like, yo, check me out on YouTube. And, you know, it's up to them to check me out and see what the fuck I'm working with, you know? I, it's not like I need to walk around with a sign on my head saying, hey, I practice polygyny or hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not with that monogamy thing. You know, it's not that. It's not that I'm not with the monogamy thing. A man technically is not designed to be with one woman. Men are designed to be with multiple women. But I try to teach brothers to do shit in a righteous manner. You know, a lot of you women may think that it's unrighteous, but it's not. It's perfectly normal. Um, the whole point is everybody has to be respectful and the brother has to be able to teach and lead. This is why you have to have a strong man, a man that's going to lead, a man that's going to guide, um, a man that's real. You know, not a man that's a whoremonger. There's a difference. And this is why when I teach these videos on polygyny, um, a lot of you brothers, you can't be whoremongers and, and, and think that you're going to be an effective brother in the truth. And, and furthermore, um, if you don't have a wife, in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, I believe that a lot of you brothers uh, shouldn't even be talking about polygyny. Um, that's just my opinion. But in all actuality, I think that if a man have a wife and he's successful and been successful with his wife, then he qualifies to even talk about polygyny because he have a successful marriage already with a woman, so he know and learn some things. But in my opinion, if a man don't have a wife, he don't understand the dynamics of a family. He don't have no children that he's raising. He don't have no no responsibilities. He's just a single brother who just watch other brothers talk about polygyny. And now all of a sudden now, he's a teacher of polygyny. I think that that's inappropriate. I think that that's a little misleading. Um, that's like listening to a person teach you about basketball, but they've never been on the court. They never won any games. The best teacher of polygyny or marriage are people that are actually there. Because what happens is you gain information from people. I'm not saying that you can't. There are brothers out there who may not have a wife, but they qualify to speak on polygyny. You know, why? Because they have experience in the area of polygyny in terms of dealing with maybe concubines. They may have not uh, settled with a woman who is their wife wife, but they have the practice of polygyny in action. So they're able to speak on it. I'm more talking about men that have no wife, no concubine, no history, no children. They don't have anything, but yet they're trying to guide you. I think that whatever information you get from them most likely is coming from another source. Because normally, when I make these videos, I make these videos because of experience. I make these videos because of things that I actually do. And I'm not going to tell you something that I don't do. I'm not going to tell you something just to make it sound good. It, everything that I'm speaking to you is things that I experience, things that I've learned all the time. This is why I can speak on it so fluently. I don't have no script in front of me. I'm randomly speaking. So the moral of the story is simple. In order for a woman to qualify as a wife, she must be a virgin. A lot of you sisters, you've thrown that away. You threw your, oppo your opportunity away of being a wife years ago. When you decided to be a thot, when you decided to be a hoe, you threw your opportunity and birthright of being a wife away. So don't get mad at me for speaking the truth. The only thing you qualify for today is being a concubine. That's why most brothers will get with you and end the relationship break off because of you, not because of the man. 99.9% .9 of the times is women who break up relationships with men. They get tired and they move on to another man. Then they move on to another man. Then they move on to another man. Then they move on to another man. And you wonder why you're still single. You wonder why. Because you jump from man to man. No man is, listen, no man is gonna deal with a woman respectfully as a wife who jumped from man to man. That's unclean, that's wickedness, man. That's beyond wickedness, man. Like, think about this, man. Like, how many of you brothers would
give a woman oral sex if she's been with 30 different men? Like, think about it, man. Think about it. A lot of you would still. But I'm, I'm being real with you, man. Like, how can you make this woman your woman and do all of that freaky shit with a woman who's been, you know, ran through like that, yo? That's not cool. Not cool at all, man. That's like 20 women. That's like, that's like uh, let's say you have a woman who she got banged by a particular guy and, you know, she wipes her pussy with a towel. She get banged by a man number two, wipes her pussy with that. Number three, she do the same thing with the same towel. Then she go wash the towel. Then she asks you to use the towel. You want to use that towel? Of course not. Even though she washed it, that towel is unclean, man. And that's the same thing how it is when you deal with non-virgin women who've been around the block. You can't make them into wives, man. So the moral of the story, brothers, is don't make no woman a wife who is not a virgin. Don't do it. Especially if she have children. Brothers, if a woman have children, automatic concubine. Automatic. Automatic concubine. Don't there's no if, ands, or buts. She is automatically a concubine. Do you understand? If a woman is not a virgin, but she don't have no real sexual history, and she got no children, and I mean she has no real sexual history, she may have been sexually active once or twice, then under circumstances like that, if that woman repents, get into the truth, and do what she's supposed to do, there is a clear opportunity for that woman to be a wife. But she has to follow your lead under polygyny, not under no monogamy bullshit. The minute she start talking all that shit about I'm monogamous, if you if you cheat on me, I'm leaving. Then hey, fine, leave now. We're not even gonna be going any further. Leave now. I don't even wanna fuck you. Leave now. Because at the end of the day, brothers, you should never make a woman dictate the, the dynamics of that relationship. You are the man. She has to follow your lead. A woman has to respect you, man. She has to respect you enough to say, you know what? I like this brother, and I like the fact that he's leaving. He ain't making me do anything. He's leaving. He's telling me what we're going to do. And that she respects. So take the advice in this particular video. I'm going to put this video on three different... Let me see, not three. I'm going to put it on Blackmail Advice TV. And I'm going to also put it... Yeah, I'm going to put it on three channels. I'm going to put it on my Ringo TV Raw 2, Another Day TV HD, and Blackmail Advice TV. I'm going to put it on those three channels. It don't really need to be on um, Black Female Advice TV. It's really not directed towards female, but um, I'll have other videos for them on similar topics in hopes that they will gain an understanding. I'm going to try to keep things separate so that uh, videos that are more directed towards the men are, are, you know, towards that demographic. And if I make a video on polygyny that is more so to help women, I want that to be strictly on the Black Female Advice TV. So with that said, leave your comments and feedback. Hate mail, let me know what you think of the video. I'm out. Peace.